Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics. We got ourselves right here a 2006 Chevy Aveo. So, uh, this issue that we have right here, have you ever had a problem whenever you stick your key in? Turn on your car. And you can't shift at a park. Well, if you have that, if you have this issue, this video is going to be for you. I'm going to show you two things on this video: how to bypass uh, the shifter, just to get you out of a sticky situation, and then what uh, what kind of issues this could be and how to fix it up. So, uh, what allows this shifter to actually move up and down and go to different gears? We have a uh, uh, basically a brake switch and then we have a solenoid in here uh, most of the times the brake switch is going to be the issue but right now let's just talk about how to get you out of the sticky switch the situation so if your shifter has one of those little tabs right here and this one actually says shift lock release what you can do you can pop this open pop this open uh, you can get a little screwdriver or anything so push it down and then after that, you can start shifting. You see? There you go. Pretty simple. Uh, some cars don't have it. Uh, if you don't, then you have to find the issue. Uh, on this one, I'm pretty darn sure it's going to be the brake switch. So let's get to it. And I'm going to show you how to change out the brake switch on this one. So this is going to be easy as pie. This is the brake switch that we have right here. Uh, and basically, this activates the solenoid right there that allows you to switch it. So, let's see. I, I don't know if you can see it right there. This right here is the brake switch. So to take this one off, unplug the wire from the back, alright, and then turn this sucker, there you go, and then to just put the brand new one on there, as you can see, right here, it has little tabs, so you can turn it in, so it's just going to be as easy as doing the same thing in reverse there you go we put it in sorry I probably can't get everything hook up the connector and let's give it a shot so now if the brake search works There you go. We don't have to push it there anymore. And that's a, that's a fix. I forgot one thing. Another thing that you can do just to verify that the brake switch is, uh, is actually faulty. If you have an extra person and I don't, you can actually press the brakes and then see if the brake lights are working. Other than that, this was just a little quick easy fix. Uh, all the cars are probably different on, on switching out the brake switch. This was pretty simple. But there you go. So if you ever have a have an issue in your uh, convenience store or something like that, and you can't shift out, give that a try. See if you have that little lock tab right there. Pull that tab off. Get something to stick it in there. You can actually get your key too. Another thing is just get your key, push it in. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Push it in, get it to neutral because if you put it in park reverse or actually reverse drive, it won't then it won't start. But if you put it in neutral, your car will still start. You see, I put it in reverse, it won't start, it won't start. So if you have it in neutral, you can start it, and then from there you can shift it. Well, there you go. If you do like this video, please 
thumbs up, subscribe, share. If you have any comments, please put them down low, and uh, I'll try to respond to them as soon as possible. Hey, y'all take care, and y'all have a nice day. Bye.